welcome to What's New and Good with Chef Alina Z. Good for the taste buds and good for the body, so you can have it all. And today we're with Katie in Honey Bee Kitchen on top of the Antioch University. Can you believe it? There is actually the cutest little cafe that just opened with a beautiful patio, a community table, so you can come here alone and meet people, sit here, there's Wi-Fi here, and eat amazing food. So I'm going to show you, well, Katie's gonna show me because I'm checking out everything here with you. And we are gonna start with some breakfast items and check these out. Look at these bagels. <laughs> these are called my hippie bagels. They hippie are, bagels. Yes, they are a little spin-off of a rainbow bagels that I found in New York. And I wanted to make a creation of my own that had natural dyes 100%. This is um, all natural? Completely natural. Uh, so what I do is every layer, there's five different layers, and every color you're seeing is a vegetable. This, so is, this is all vegetable? It completely vegetable. Uh, it's 50% vegetables, 50% flour. Oh my god. So it's flour, vegetables, turns into a bagel. There's beets, carrots, turmeric, spinach, and blueberries. And um, it's not extracted from the fruit. It's completely it pureed. So, so these these are 100% love, um, take about five hours to make per batch. Oh my so god. It, they're really unique and really special and people totally come back for them. So I created a, and I trademarked a phrase couture nutrition, meaning made from it. the best ingredients, made, tailor-made. Yeah. This is couture bagels. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, this is Honey Bee Kitchen, so this is what the buzz is all about. Like, <laughs> not to be it. too corny, but you know what? Screw it, you know, let's be corny because it is so good. This is incredible. Mm -hmm. And also, oh God, uh, the farmer's market is right below our feet right now. Every single Saturday, you um, literally just walk down the stairs mm. and I can get all my kale, my spinach, my beets, my carrots. Um, so everything that goes in there, you know, is not only from Santa Barbara, it's good for you and it's homemade, so. Wow, mm -hmm. now this is what I call eating local mm -hmm. and eating fabulous. <laughs> I love this it. This is absolutely delicious. So what is this we're drinking? So this is actually a local kombucha that um, my friend mm. Tyler makes. It's, it's really nice and they're not, they're just mellow enough to, you know, just uh, be thirst quenching, but not too sweet or sugary. This is amazing. Yeah. So this is local mm -hmm. and conscious. And you know, I, I love local food. I love conscious eating. The thing that I love here, that it tastes good, mm -hmm. you know? So you have it all. That's what it's all about. Yes. And um, let's see, so we tried the breakfast item and you told me that you can take me basically from breakfast eating fabulous, which was amazing, to I'm seeing something here yeah. that I want to try for we'll lunch. We'll take you straight into uh, lunch let, here. Let, we'll let's go see. do the whole full circle. So yeah. this is my second little creation let's that see. Um, what is this? the honeybee is kind of getting known for. We are doing savory oh waffles God. here. So totally complete different spin on the regular waffle you would oh think of having for God. breakfast. So uh, mm. for this one you're uh, looking at right now is called let's the Melly. See. And this is mm. uh, a spinach and mozzarella flavored bagel. So we puree organic spinach yeah, and mozzarella. Spinach and mozzarella in the, okay, the gonna, breading. Can of I just? That. Can I just? Totally, just dig in there. Mmm, this is so good. It's like a little bit cheesy, but it's fresh and flavorful. Oh my god, I love cheesy. <laughs> mm. um, and then it's flavor it layered with avocado, um, pickled okay. onions, tomato, hummus. So it's everything you need as a vegetarian to be substantial and keep you full, okay. but in a completely unique and different way. This is total. This is amazing. This is <laughs> unique. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig into this. Mmm. <laughs> Lots of different flavors. I've never tasted anything like this before because you have so many flavors. Mm -hmm. And it's vegetables. Yes. We want and flair. Yeah, I want a little bit of flair yes. as a vegetarian. Just because you don't eat yeah. meat doesn't mean you can't eat well. You have to eat fabulous. They're not just well, this is fabulous. 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 So mm. this is a spin on a BLT. This is called our boat. And boat stands for bacon, a caramelized onions, uh, arugula, and tomato. But this is mm. specifically made with my veggie bacon. And mm. I searched high and low for a veggie bacon I li I'd like. Oh my god, let me hug you. Oh, this is so good. Um, I couldn't mm. find a veggie bacon that I liked, so I decided to make my own. It's a pure protein. Um, it has the same amount it's of protein so or more as real bacon. 
um, and I flavor it with uh, mm. liquid smoke. And I can say I was gonna say it has a smoky flavor. A little smoky flavor. It's a hundred percent vegan. Nothing added. Completely natural. All like ingredients that you could recognize when you're reading mm. them. Um, so there's a, like arugula to give it a little bit of spice. Um, yeah. I use tomatoes from the farmer's market that I love. I refuse Here to, in Santa Barbara. Yes. I refuse to use bad tomatoes when we have such mm. beautiful tomatoes and avocados and everything is just flourishing here. So um, all the sandwiches, they're not just a sandwich you find at a deli shop. They're made with waffles, they're infused with herbs, um, different handmade meats. So oh my God. A lot, a lot of things to choose. I got to tell you, like this is... Perfectly, the perfect combination, you have the sweet and the, and the sour and mm -hmm. the salt. Like, what else do you want? And you feel oh. satisfied. Yeah, thank you, you know, that's the most important thing. I think people, and we want to show that it is possible to have it all. Mm -hmm. Like, to have real food and to feel really good after mm -hmm. you eat it. Because, you know, after you eat the McDonald's burger or something really heavy, like, you don't feel sexy. Mm -hmm. You know, you're kind of just like, oh. So I don't know if you guys ever feel this way. This is something that will make you feel satisfied, mm -hmm. satiated, and satisfied in your soul. You know, I it's like, it. it's perfect, it's so yeah, good. I like it a lot too because um, I know like ketchup has a lot of sugar and I've been looking for a lot of different ways to mm. stay away from sugar and use sugar naturally. So this has caramelized onions. There's no sugar added to the onions or anything, but mm. when you naturally um, saute and roast it over an hour period, it draws out the natural sugars from the caramelized onions. So you get the natural sweetness from the sugar, you get the saltiness from the veggie bacon, and the, you know, the crunchiness from the waffle. And so everything that I use, I try to extract their natural flavor. Like this is a naturally flavored bagel, a right. naturally sweetened, you know, ingredient. You know, somebody told me that like, oh, natural is no fun. Like, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, like, you don't sacrifice anything. You have everything mm -hmm. and it's delicious. And people are into the slow food movement. Like the bagels take you five hours to make. That's a pretty slow food. Mm -hmm. However, when you eat it here, that's a fast food for you because you can just come in and grab it, right? Like you make the sandwiches mm. here. Now to let order. me do the hard work and you just enjoy it. <laughs> I like that because as a chef, I have to do the hard work. So for me, this is just a beautiful feast. Oh, wonderful. And I'm not even, like I love desserts more. I'm not a savory, as much savory person. And for me, like this is just so satisfying. Oh, wonderful. And since I'm doing the hard work for you guys, so you can see how good this food is i gotta taste it so i'm gonna save it all and we're gonna move on to dessert <laughs> i have an extreme sugar sweet tooth but i try to work around it by making healthier alternatives so <laughs> what is this because i know you're famous for this so yes. tell me tell okay, me tell me so this is a kind of a long story behind it i'll sum it up for you i moved out here from chicago um and i was working for the whole foods kitchens i wasn't really oh, feeling it and um, I was applying for different jobs and I saw there was a TV show um, and I just, you know, out on a whim, applied for the TV show, ended up winning the cooking episode, uh, baking episode of the cooking show. No wonder, I just had a bite of this. <laughs> so what you're eating oh right now God, what is a, heaven, heaven, a cookie, a vegan it's a cookie dough, cookie dough cinnamon roll. Holy moly. I don't want to say anything <laughs> inappropriate. But this is like, I just got into cinnamon heaven. <laughs> so um, I make 14 oh different gosh, flavors so of cinnamon rolls. 14, so 14. if you come here every day for 14 days, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try them all. And seasonal flavors as well. So mm. these I um, kind of made a little bit early for Valentine's Day. They are red velvet cake cinnamon rolls. Oh my God, um, I'm gonna just have to taste them. And it has, it has a chocolate fudge filling. Um, but I use I don't make, use any dairy, any eggs. I use what? organic coconut milk and almond. My boy just went like what? <laughs> <laughs> you would never know, right? Oh my god, um, this is this is better than sorry cinnamon, but this is like this takes the cake. Oh, that, and I like the pun. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I grew up eating Cinnabon and eating oh all the, my God. I call them like the mall food. Yes. You know, all the, the ones you smell when you're shopping. If you want to just to come and eat this stuff, you just have to come and get it. Oh my God. <laughs> this cookie dough one, I mean all of them, amazing. It's a, it's a homemade cookie dough too, a vegan cookie dough. So uh, it's a buttery spread that's like a, the earth balance blend. It's non-GMO, organic. So that's what, that's what people want to know. Like, they want to know that it's good for the community, good for the world. You know, the, the benefit of eating plant-based foods is that it's good for our environment. You mm -hmm. know, that so much water is wasted 
for the animals to be kept and you know there's so much environmental damage that's done mm -hmm. and here no damage to the environment no damage to your booty mm -hmm. and all the yumminess for your heart so i'm gonna keep these for myself you have to come get your own and then we're gonna show you how to make i these are awesome things i think you're gonna show us these right they are those are my vegan cheesecakes okay mm -hmm. so we're gonna show you how to make the plant-based plant plant-based plant -based cheesecakes yes. okay <laughs> I'm Chef Alina Z, and we are here with Katie Bellinger in Santa Barbara's Honey Bee Kitchen. We are making plant-based cheesecakes. Plant-based cheesecakes. Who <laughs> doesn't love cheesecakes? How do we make them? Okay, so this is one of my favorite things to make because it's so easy. You just throw a bunch of things into the blender and voila, put it in the freezer for a few hours and you have a delicious little voila. miniature cheesecake. So for those of you who think that healthy eating is hard, this is going to bust the myth. <laughs> we're going to show you that it is easy because we're just throwing stuff in the blender making it awesome. Exactly. Let, let's see how, I, so what do we have? So probably the hardest part, which is not hard at all, is soaking the, ch the cashews overnight. Okay. So you can do a quick soak, you can do it for an hour in boiling water and they'll soften up, but um, the key to this is you want the cashews to be soft so you can kind of feel one um, right. and they'll like kind of melt in your, your oh, hand yeah, a little look bit. Oh yeah, look at that, see, they break. You'll bend apart. So they're soft, and so when you puree them, they get that nice, smooth, um, silky kind of consistency. We like smooth and silky. Yeah. And you just put them in water overnight. Put them in water overnight, simple as that. And what is this? What do we have And we're for? just going to strain the water out of them. So oh, we'll easy just, peasy. Yeah, we'll just pour. So we take these soaked um, cashews, just sprinkle those in here. That's pretty easy. Yeah. And so then my next favorite ingredient for plant-based ingredients What's is that? coconut cream. So it's creamier than you know your mm. standard almond milk or something. It's pure so cream, good. and I've heated this up a little bit. But you can scoop it with a spoon and make you know whipped cream or anything oh out of God, it. Oh my God, that's amazing! And you know, I I know that as a health coach too, that coconut can boost your thyroid, which means it can boost your metabolism. So we're making metabolism boosting, and cashews are rich in magnesium, so they can help you relax and calm down. So this is like a calming down, metabolism boosting. Dessert. Her That's pure awesome. Joy and happiness. So we'll pour the coconut That's cream in there. That's what we want. The whole. I think the whole thing about cooking is that you know people just want to be happy. Totally. You know, we're drinking be kombucha. Happy, be healthy. And this is um, coconut Life oil. Life is good. Coconut oil. I'm, I'm sure you know coconut oil is good for so many things. So it's well, like my best friend in cooking. You know, <laughs> well, also great for thyroid. But we just put stuff in there. You just throw so, it. So coconut oil, coconut milk, cashews. And then um, I put a, this is organic powdered sugar, um, all natural, but I put a lot of it. You can kind of add it to your sweetness level. So you, I mean, I just kind of like to shake a little bit in, taste it, see where it goes. So whatever you guys like. Yeah, you know? and if you want to stay away from sugar, you don't have to have as much. It'll be a, like a less sweet cheesecake. Yeah. Um, so You can probably do a little stevia too, like for those who are watching. Stevia, exactly. So any sweetener of your choice. Um, and you know, if you use maple syrup, it'll be like a different kind of flavor. There you go. Um, and oh. then, Can you use honey here? Totally. So there's so, a lot of options. You, This is you know, the, the way that Katie's presenting to us and then we can make it our own, like make it couture, yes. you know, and made for you. I will go through all the different flavorings. So I want to say this is my base for base. the cheesecake. And then um, we have peanut butter today, so they're going to be little peanut butter cheesecakes. But I will show let's, you let's what do the it. base is like first. So I started off, um, also Vitamix is a great for soups and sauces. Oh my God, I love Vitamix. Yeah, let's turn it all up. Yeah, scrape it out. Really get everything mixed in, in there. What about like a minute or so? We just so blend like a minute or so, just you know, um, good quick scrapes on the side, and you'll see that's completely mm. creamy. So that's the base of it, and then Yum. the flavoring is the, my favorite part. So I think like this is like a little black dress for lo those ladies who are watching. Totally. You know, you have a simple black dress, and then you dress it up mm -hmm. and you accessorize it. So we are gonna accessorize, accessorize it with it. peanut butter. Peanut butter. She doesn't like peanut butter. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Peanut so, butter. Um, I am a good, big... good source of protein too. So. And that's the cool thing that I like about this stuff. 
like if you make a cheesecake at home and you have to bake it, you have to bake that sucker for like 40 minutes mm -hmm. and then it's like, oh crap, I forgot to put something. Like here, you make it for one minute and you're like, hmm, I can add this, or I can add mm -hmm. that. Like you can play around. Completely it's raw. so easy. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. That's the beauty of it. All right, so we'll Let's crank it up for one more minute to mix in the peanut butter. Crank it up. Here. So you guys don't have to worry about the mess, you know, like life is messy, mm -hmm. life is delicious and let's see. Take a little taste, you mm -hmm. So good. Mm, let's get in that peanut butter kick, so. It's so good. Once that's completely frozen, it oh turns my God. into the consistency of ice cream. Completely, so you bite into it, it's like creamy and soft. And the ice cream that can boost your metabolism and help you relax. Mm -hmm. I Nothing like that. Better. I like that. So you saw my little cinnamon rolls, how they were well, little. Oh, they were perfect. Yes. So I'm all about miniature because I'm such a little sweet after my meals. I need to have a little something, yes. a little, you know. For these, it's just I um, use little mini muffin pan oh, liners. I just put a little cupcake liners in there. So we'll just... And you know what, the cool thing also, oh by the way, you guys, I'm drinking kombucha. This is not wine or beer. And kombucha is good probiotics for the gut. So this is all like fabulous and good for you, mm -hmm. good for you. And um, you can buy all of these ingredients on like online on Amazon. You don't even have to leave your house to go shopping. It's so easy. You find everything at the grocery store. It's just a matter of uh, putting some simple things together and ready to go. So yeah, scoop these in and let's do it. Um, it just takes a, an hour or two in the freezer, but I already have some. Right and you us, know so. when you lick your fingers. Calories don't count. Right? It's just it's uh, just freebies right there. No. So we just um, take a few little scoopfuls. And my favorite thing after this, I'm going to show you how to make my plant-based, all-natural magic shell chocolate. I love it. It's we want magic. Who, who doesn't want more magic in your life? Right? And you are what you eat. <laughs> so you eat magical food. Yeah, we don't need to make all of them. We'll just, yeah, we'll otherwise make, we'll eat all of them. We'll make five, just to, you know, Call it even there. Yeah. And uh, my favorite part of these is this is a peanut butter, but we need the chocolate. Top we we always need chocolate. We on always top. need yeah. chocolate. It's like Reese's peanut butter cups, like exactly. chocolate and peanut butter. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how do we make chocolate? This is made with only two ingredients. Two ingredients. Um, okay. The vegan chocolate. Or I'm, I'm gonna have to taste it first. Plant-based chocolate chips. You couldn't even tell the difference. Mmm. <laughs> so good. That's just good. It's just so awesome, and you can have it all. Mm -hmm. Like these are allergen-free coconut oil, right? You said we're doing coconut oil. Yes. So this is coconut oil. I heat it up for just uh, you know put it in a pot, warm it up a little bit, and then all you have to do is just sprinkle the chocolate chips right in there. Okay. And uh, you just give it a little bit of a whisk here, and the chocolate chips will melt automatically, and it will turn into your own. That is that's magical. It's magical, right as it is. As it is, and you know what? Again, because like I'm such a health nut, and I want tasty food, so this is tasty. I mean, chocolate and coconut, right? Yeah, put more, mm -hmm. put more, more chocolate. More right? chocolate. Who doesn't want more chocolate? Yeah. If you don't want more chocolate, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, but uh, chocolate is good in magne high in magnesium, so again, it helps you relax. Mm -hmm. Because like, our society is so overstressed, you know? People are so disconnected from each other. Mm -hmm. And we want to bring people in to real food, real connection. And chocolate is rich in magnesium, so you can relax. Chocolate is awesome, so you can feel good. And then coconut oil boosts your metabolism. Mm -hmm. And so like, you can have it all, baby. Yeah. You can have it all. There's a chocolate fountain going on here. Can you do, you can probably do like a, you can do fondue with that. Totally a fondue. So this is two in one. This is a two in one recipe. You can do the, the Reese's, mm -hmm. not, well, we cannot use Reese's. We can say Reese's like, right? Mm -hmm. We can do Reese's like peanut butter peanut cups. Bucks. Completely plant-based, completely natural, and you can see how thin and consistent look how it awesome. melted perfectly. Oh my god, look at that. Perfect, smooth, silky chocolate mm. sauce. And uh, my favorite thing about this is you take just one little teaspoon like that, and you just uh, drizzle it on top of the chocolate cups. And within awesome. a minute or so, it will um, it will harden, and that will make the, the chocolate shell layer over it. Wow. Um, well, I have to help you clean up. 
Mm. So good, a little bit of coconut, a little, little sweet. It is so good. It's like almost like Reese's fell in love with like uh, Almond Joy yes. and they had a little baby <laughs> and that is it. I that is it. so good. Okay, we have to try the, the full done thing. Okay, well, let's. Well, what does it look like when it's done? Oh, so the shell hardened in like a minute or so. You just pop yeah. it in the freezer for a second, mm. peel it apart. Uh. And you can hear the little crunch. Oh my God, you hear the crunch? I ain't sharing. Mm -mm. Mm. This is so good. Oh my god. And you don't have to feel bad eating it either. Well, Perfect whole, little size. That's the whole point of this. <laughs> you can have it all. You can have the taste. You can have the health. You can have the benefits of everything. Like it's just mm. awesome, and you feel good. The point of food, to me, is to feel happy. You know, happy in your body, happy in your soul. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling happy in my soul right yes, now. So yeah, cheers so to your health. Enjoy. Cheers. <laughs> we are back with Katie Bellinger at Honey Bee Kitchen in Santa Barbara on top of the Antioch University, a little hidden gem of a place. And they have this menu item that's called Jacko's. Jacko's. What is Jacko's? So it is a unique combination of a pulled pork style taco that is completely plant-based. Plant-based. Plant-based, tastes like pulled pork or pulled chicken um, with the right seasonings, the right flavors. It's absolutely outstanding. Well, there you go. Let, let's do it. So what is jackfruit? I know what jackfruit is. Do you guys know what jackfruit is? Uh, you don't? Okay, we'll show you. So what is jackfruit? So jackfruit is like an Asian fruit. It doesn't have much taste. It comes in a really funky looking can. Well, it comes in a can, but you know, the, the actual jackfruit is like this big. It's the biggest fruit, mm -hmm. but we want to make it easy. We want food that's good for you, uh, like my grandmother would say, good for you. And um, we want it to be easy and we want it to be delicious. So let's get in a can, why All not? Right. So yeah, it makes it really easy to get canned jackfruit, at least in the United States. So you can go to any Oriental market, Asian style market, and get any of the canned jackfruit. You want to make sure that instead of getting the jackfruit in the syrup, you get the jackfruit in the brine. Jackfruit in the brine, I did not know that. Yeah, because if you get the jackfruit in the syrup, you're going to have syrupy tacos. You don't uh, want that. We're trying to make something No, no, savory. No bueno, right? Yeah. Okay. So it is super scary looking at first, but you can Let's see. see. Take one of those out. Let's, we'll show you guys. Look. Well, it looks like a heart, kind of. <laughs> it's funky, but you can see as you cook it. Oh, look. You, it, like, it pulls apart. It a pulls little bit. apart. Look at that. And it's like pulled pork. This is a slow cooker. So, this slow cooker, rice cooker, you can use anything that you Oh, you know. can use rice cooker. You can, this is a rice cooker, actually. Oh, my God. So. so you know, we want real food, right? We want slow food, we want fast food. It's mm -hmm. like, what do we want? This is kind of both because you just quickly put it in. Throw it in there. And, and then, then it's slowly done. cooked for you. That's exactly. Awesome. So we'll dump the, the with, jackfruit with the, in with there. The, with the juice. With the juice in there. Oh uh, my the God. The thing about jackfruit is it is a sponge. So when you cook the jackfruit, it will absorb it immediately. Really? The first time I cooked jackfruit, it burnt to the bottom of the pan. Because, really? Uh, you have to fill it uh, uh, completely up with water. So you'll fill it so the jackfruit isn't even showing. Wow, and so I, that's a Z tip or a K, K tip. Yeah. It's Katie's tip. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so you fill it um, all the way with water. Okay. Um, and then I like to add a can of coconut cream because I'm obsessed with coconut cream. And we are all obsessed with coconut cream because <laughs> coconut is good for your thyroid and for metabolism boosting. And it's like you're eating and you're losing weight at the same time. It's like, hey, this is awesome. Yeah. Oh my God, look, 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 look. Look at how, how, look thick, how thick, thick this is. is. This is like whipped cream. So this is the creamiest of the creamy of uh, plant-based creams. You can't find anything creamier than coconut so cream. So you guys want to buy, this is coconut cream. This is a Trader Joe's, which I love Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. Like who doesn't love you Trader Joe's? You can buy this at the grocery store, um, but it's perfect because it's uh, a little cheat that I have is when you buy coconut milk for a stew or something, you can buy coconut cream for the same price. And it's the same thing, but they water it down with the coconut milk. So if you buy the coconut cream instead of the milk, you get two cans of coconut milk for one can of cream. 
<laughs> Look at that. We want. We like. That. We like that stuff. Yeah, it's That's a little cool. tip to say a money saving tip. Money saving. Get coconut milk, buy a long can of coconut cream, cut it with water, and you have two cans of coconut milk. That's amazing. And when to save money, you can just save it and buy shoes because, you know, I'm all about shoes. Of course. Or, or cinnamon <laughs> rolls from you. So that's awesome. Okay. So uh, we don't need to add the whole thing, you know, just like but a, few, put it in a there. few tablespoons. We'll scoop. Oh, look how cool there. she's doing it so you don't yeah. have to do dishes. No dishes necessary. I don't want to do dishes. Scoop, just scoop that stuff in. Perfect. I'm gonna taste and it. I don't know about you, but I am a oh my garlic God, so lover. I, I love, love garlic. garlic. Well, you know, when the recipe calls for one clove of garlic, you always put two. Mm -hmm. So this is like 10. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's, it's slow cooking and it'll extract a lot of it. Um, That's awesome. And you know, garlic is great for like the flu season mm. and to, ooh, garlic is good for reducing cholesterol. Perfect. So this is like, we want to give you guys a, you know, suggestions on how this food is working for you, making you feel fabulous. So. So cool. I'm all about garlic, but these are chipotle, chipotle. garlic flavored jackos. So wow. Chipotle chilies and adobo sauce. So they're pretty spicy. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's smoky. Where do you buy it? You just buy uh, it? Or can. Oh, just dump it so in here. Dump that in. All and, right. Uh, you just need to fill it up with a little bit of water oh, and well, put the lid on. As simple as that, coconut cream, uh, garlic, chipotle chilies, and jackfruit. And you just put stuff in. Put it and in. Put it in. Close it. And let it cook for Press you. Press cook. And about 30 minutes, it will look something like this. That's amazing. I know, it's crazy. That, that looks that looks like pulled pork. Completely. And then, that's incredible. Yeah, it's moist, and all that water is soaked up beautifully. And oh it my makes god! It all, fall apart. Uh, all the flavors will just completely suck into the jackfruit, so it'll turn into a completely different flavor. I'm mm -hmm. gonna just continue tasting it. Oh yeah. And then, it's so good. One of my favorite ways to eat it, if you want to assemble tacos together. Yeah, but, those are tacos. So yeah. gluten-free oh. corn tortillas. Okay. I like to double you just, up. You don't have to. Oh, let's double up. Yeah. Why not? Just to be safety, so you don't lose safety. anything. Safety. Safety is our number one priority. Taco yes, taco safety. <laughs> I love it. So a little bit of uh, jackos. All right. Look at that. Yay. A little bit of avocado crema. Avocado this crema. Is, that sounds fancy. How do you make a crema? It sounds fancy, but it's uh, three ingredients. Three? Is, okay, what's it? Uh, you could probably guess it's coconut cream because oh. I'm obsessed with coconut cream. Avocado. Um, super ripe avocado. So super you get avocado. Really, really pure um, avocado flavor. Okay. And cilantro. And cilantro. Oh my god. A little bit of salt. That's yeah. easier than Cilantro, guacamole. Cilantro, avocado, and coconut cream. That's amazing. And then I like pickled red onions Let's because they're it. so beautiful. Um, oh, the red like... turns them pink, so you get the green, the red, and the tacos. And how easy was this? Just simple. Okay. Three things. While this is cooking, you can make the crema. Three simple That's amazing. ingredients. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Well, it tastes like meat. And you know, if you're wondering, like, why, well, why not use pork? Mm -hmm. You know, the thing that I like about jackfruit, there's no cholesterol. You get plant-based vitamins and minerals, so you get more vitality. And animal protein takes hours and sometimes days to process in the body, so it weighs you down. Well, no more. Mm -hmm. This won't weigh you down. You can have it all. You can have the taste, the flavors, the textures, and you can feel amazing, and your body will feel so good, it will thank you later by giving you the vitality that you desire and you deserve. And then the coconut cream, like we said, boosts your metabolism. Mm. The avocado lowers your blood pressure, and cilantro helps you get rid of heavy metals. Bam! Wow. Mm -hmm. Health food in, okay, as, as a trifecta. <laughs> awesome, yeah, I'm gonna eat it up. Mm. Thank you. You're so welcome.